In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the X-Tool D7 to unlock the rear uh, parking brake for a 2008 Volkswagen Passat. If you need to do this, if you're going to change the uh, brake pads on the rear brakes. So I have it plugged in right now. I'm going to put in the key, but just not turn it on all the way, just so that the lights come on. And then I'm going to go to diagnosis and then you go to special functions and then EPB for electronic parking brake. And then I go to Europe. VW and it should okay for models 2019 but that's not this and then automatic detection and then you choose the model Passat and that's the correct so okay okay electronic parking brake and I'm rolling down the window so you'll hear that the brake pads do disengage. So, Okay, sorry, a car just drove by. So I'm going to hit uh, replace the brake pads and then you'll hear the electronic, basically, uh, motor retract so that you'll be able to take the caliper off. So here we go. Okay, so you just heard it. And then also on the dash, you see that you get a parking brake fault. So cylinder has been retracted. Please, re now you'd be able to take the caliper off when you're doing your brake job. And then once you're done, you would just come back to here. I think I got recently did an update and I think it might've messed up something that determined, I think it's supposed to say, press the okay button again. So I just click that. Once you're done, you'd come back, click OK. And then you'll hear them close up again. The electronic brake. And you'll hear them, they, they clamp down all the way and then they retract a little bit. So, OK. Brake, cylinder is released, press OK. And then press OK, exit the system, turn ignition off and on again, and end. So I'll do that. Okay, so now I'll just take the key out, start the car again. And just to test that they work, I'll turn on the parking brake again. So yep, it just came on and then I'll turn it off again and you hear them disengage. So yep, that's how to disengage the rear brake cylinder with the X tool.